Hey guys, Magnus Robert here, bringing you another video. This one we're going to be looking at a new character that was added, so it's another premium gameplay. This one is the Park Engineer, so we've got this little message here. Springfield is a town full of dangers. Good thing Park Engineer is here uh, to help cover them up. Grab him now before no before he weasels away. Okay, so he's 65 donuts, so he's a playable character, so let's buy him. So 65 donuts is not too bad, um, but he is so kind of like... I don't know if he's tapped out exclusive, but he's at least a blink and you miss it anyway. So, no flash photography, please. Park Engineer. Okay, so he goes into the itching scratchy land. That means our set is now complete for that, so that's kind of cool. So, let's see. Oh, okay. No, he is in the episode. I remember him. So, a lot of theme parks are use fancy $100 computers to design their rides. We prefer to do it the old-fashioned way, with paper and pencil, hunches and guesswork. Take our new ride, the... Decapitator. One week ago, it was just a sketch on the back of a very beer-soaked bar napkin. And now it's ready for human trials. Will it work? I think there's a fighting chance it will. So make the part engineer run human trials. Just as concerned about violence as you are. <laughs> so he's got voice, which is really cool. So make Springfield just be guinea pig. So we'll do Lisa, Dr. Nick. Everybody. Grab apple, right. poo, and we'll just scroll off the bottom real quick. Just skip that, and we'll add a, a one more after. Um, Under these robes beats the heart of a gladiator. So skip them, and also skip the judge. Ah, so we'll um, do that. My game is being kind of laggy, so I do apologise, but... Ma'am, how would you like to be the first to ride the Decapitator? Is it as dangerous as the name implies? Coincidence or... Coincidenting chuckle. Condescending chuckle. I'm such an idiot. You didn't actually answer the question. Didn't I? Condescending chuckle. Well, your sm s smugness does give me confidence. So that's the goal complete, so... Well, on the scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate the Decapitator? Zero. If I hadn't ducked, the saw blades would have sliced my clear clean off. Yes, but on the scale of 1 to 10, did they? Well, no, I'll give you a 10 for that, I suppose. C condescending chuckle. So, uh, no fake, uh, I mean, the park engineer, fake a ride safety report. <laughs> You see, ma'am, there was never anything to worry about. The D from the decapitator sound fell into the seat next to me. I could have been killed. We can all be killed any time. Maybe I have a tropical brain virus that is ra rav raving my neocortex as we speak. Who knows? You've got a lot of robots in this park. What's to stop them from killing the human masters? I've seen it before, you know. Patronizing gruff of impossible. One of them chewing on your leg right now. One of them is chewing on your leg right now, and the, that other is cheering him on. Da da da. Will you excuse me a moment? So make the park engineer fix malfunctioning Just robots. So that's an animation. That's kind of cool. He's actually not bad for a kind of minor character. Ten. Do not kill humans. Twenty. Especially me. Thirty. Gotta go to ten. There. Fixed. So, uh, no Mrs. Simpson, we heard you, uh, you, and we're making safety improvements to the to the decapitator. That's wonderful news. First, we're changing the name to Mr. Itchy's Lullaby Train. Second, we're installing netting to catch any heads that may fall, and that's it. I'm no engineer, but speaking as a layperson, are you insane? Only one way to find out. So, make the park engineer run human uh, trials. No And then make Springfielders be guinea pigs. So we'll do this Brockman. Is ready to kick in some heads. Oh, it's really hard for me to scroll to the bottom. Um, tell my other mob is that Louis or Legs? I don't actually remember. Um, we'll do Abe. Abe Lincoln. Mod. And the Snow Monster, however he's called. I'm really bad at the names. Uh, okay, so we'll skip all that. Uh, no flash photography, please. 
so. The netting works. All decapitated heads are safe. <laughs> so, it's got complete, and then this will probably be the final. If you don't mind me asking, how did you become a theme park ride designer? Oh, right, the usual way is a young child, I, learn, I, ye I yearn to find out what animals look like on the inside. I began <laughs> it began with insects and frogs, but I soon graduated to larger prey. Naturally, I was ashamed of my bedwetting, but who can say if that's why I'm, be I'm lighting fires. I began lighting fires. I'm going to find a policeman. Good idea, Marge. And I'll flee into the Canadian wilderness. So, make the park. Engineer, conveniently escape on conversation. Uh, no flash photography, please. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually really cool. You know, I, I'm actually... This character's not flash. too bad for a... Uh, speaking to you. I am. Um, for a minor character, which is kind of cool. So, yeah. So. Chief Wickham, I think the head engineer is a serial killer. Well, I'm sure he's gotten out of the system. Um, that's how these things work. The, ki the killing stuff isn't ideal, but a lot of these guys find peace in the end. So there's that. That's the final wall complete. So that's the character. We'll have a quick look. So we've got a few animated here. We've got Chat with Ned, Wonder the Hills, Teach Children There's No Heaven, Overpay for Sex on the Beach, Stay at the Swindle Rado, Try and Win at Blackjack, Enjoy Night Without Kit. Oh no, this is mod. That's embarrassing. <laughs> uh, Pog Engineer. A peace concerned guest. Check operation status. Overpay. To be fair, some of the some of the tasks are the same. Overpay for sex on the beach. Stay at the swan low. Try one about jack back. Drink and babysit. Fix malfunctioning robot. Dance the senior burns. Conveniently escape a conversation, greet park, greet park visitors, and deal with near catastrophes. So that's the uh, that's the park engineer. It's kind of cool. He's not a bad character for a kind of one episode blink and you miss. Well, not really blink and you miss it because he did appear quite a bit in the episode. I don't know, but um, regardless, he's kind of like a blink and you miss it in a way, I guess. But and he's a one episode character at least, but not a terrible character for that. They've done a good job. He's got a voice in that, so that's kind of cool. So sixty five donuts, not too bad. Uh, I would I would say he was a thumbs up rather than a thumbs down. Um, they did something interesting. This quest line's not too bad. It's not great, but it wasn't alright. It was okay. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next video. Goodbye.